hello scorpios all right so this is going to be it's not going to be anything new to the channel i just feel like to come on here and channel messages okay for you scorpio so i don't know what's going to happen what i'm going to say i'm just going to get into it and yeah if whatever resonates for you scorpio go ahead and you know take that as your message whatever doesn't resonate is not meant for you and if it doesn't fit you guys don't try to make it fit it's going to be different messages i'm just going to be receiving from the holy spirit and just saying what i need to say through me okay um so let's get into it now like the video to support the channel you guys and all the information for a personal read within the, will be in the description box as well all right so let's see what we have here all right for scorpio i was picking up scorpio singles at first uh, not getting these people the, the oh my god these energies that i'm picking up is not someone that is in a really is in a relationship i was getting like something like independence and work i was getting someone giving you a hard time at work someone that has authority over you a manager perhaps this could be a feminine energy it could be in a masculine body it doesn't even have to be a woman okay but someone has this power over you and i will i was also getting um for those married couples that work together as well that was also coming up but let me just stay focused on the message i was hearing don't worry about this don't worry about this scorpios don't worry about this channel this ch oh my gosh <laughs> don't worry about this challenge don't worry about this person i feel like they are worried or you they make you make them very uncomfortable because you're not an ass kisser i should say is that the right word um you're not sucking up to them like other people do you actually challenge them when they tell you to do something you ask questions um and they don't like that they just want you to hoppity hop and do what you need to do um but don't worry about that i am also getting that a lot of you are waiting for some kind of opportunity to come your way yes you're going to get that opportunity i'm also seeing that you're going to have a lot of choices coming to you and you're going to be very interested in these choices these are choices that you have been waiting for your energy is going to actually bring them forth to you because you've been thinking about them so for those of you who have been filling out applications and wanting to leave a certain job just know it's going to happen The answers will come. Why am I getting decisions? I'm hearing uh, Scorpio is going to have to make a decision very soon. Scorpio, um, you haven't made it yet. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this. <sighs> wow. Someone is trying to block your abundance. Yeah, the king of uh, pentacles. You are on the way to prosperity. You are on the way to victory. You're on the way to financial gain, success. You're on the way to security. You're very secure. I'm seeing love coming into your life. Also, new opportunity. Remember that opportunity that I was telling you that is going to come your way? there it is the ace of wands very fast paced but someone is trying to block this opportunity i'm hearing someone with like power you this person has a position higher than you this person feels like by talking bad about you or by uh, you know making people think that you are challenging because you challenge them like if they say hey do this and i need this on my desk by five you're going to say, oh, we don't need to do it until this time. I talk to the client and, you know, they, they're not open until so-and-so. So they don't want it until this time. You always have something to say that they don't know about, you know, and they can't really challenge you back because it makes sense. They don't like that. 
uh, <laughs> but this person, they're, they're, they, other people are asking about you because they love the way that you work or you carry yourself or this could either be a relationship to be very careful you guys because whoever this is is like this could be even your family honestly you know someone that has authority this could be a mother or a father or someone that raised you someone that feels maybe your older sister you know that feels like or older brother that feels like they have authority over your life and say so like you were just like you're grown but at the same time it's like they are they're not you're not really living right they're trying to live your life so i'm seeing someone blocking your happiness here Scorpio, be careful. But everything is going to be clear because I'm hearing clarity is going to be a gift for you. But I'm also, why am I here in manifestation season? A lot of you are manifesting. <laughs> manifesting everything that you want, you know, a new beginning. You want new love. You want stability. A lot of you are manifest in this and it's actually coming towards you. This is what I'm hearing. So a lot of you are in your high priestess energy. Very quiet. Very secretive. But at the same time, you're not lost. You're not lost in cancer energy. You're definitely spiritually entwined you already know what's popping you already know what people feel about you without them saying it it's like you can read their minds <laughs> Scorpio you you know what it is you know we read body languages we read how they move and you know it's not particularly reading their mind it's like how they move we know when someone is fake we know when someone ain't, ain't real we know when we have to watch our backs you know, when someone is too much, we know who not to tell our secrets to, right? We just know by this, you know, having a conversation with one person that one time, we just pick it up. <laughs> a lot of you made a mistake with an Aries, Satch, or a Leo. I'm hearing mistake, Aries, Satch, or a Leo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Aries, Satch, and Leo. A lot of you made a mistake. This could be someone with that moon sign as well. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. This could be their moon sign. I'm here and let go of it. It's done. It's done, you guys. Tell me more. yeah look at that you're looking at this person as someone that made you unhappy they try to take your son they try to take your bliss from you uh, you know you know what i'm getting eerie sag or leo sometimes in reverse they could definitely be um appearing to be someone that has authority but they don't okay they, they want to be able to make decisions over your life they want to be able to for you to listen to them they're kind of like stubborn energies okay but i'm seeing like this person used you use your joy use your use your sun drain you of your energy your happiness used your money lived off of you for some of you you know this person wants to return this person you're per, like proceeding with caution you don't trust this person you're trying to like reevaluate this for 1111 for those of you you could have been attached you could have married this person as well and you're trying to see if this is going to you know just like proceeding with caution because you don't know how this is going to go with this 1111 here trying to like take a step back on this and see if this is something that you want because you do want to be happy you do want fulfillment but the person that you're with you're wondering if they can give this to you 
you are wondering if this person can give this to you because right now you seem like you're unhappy look at that huge mistake within virgo energy this is what you're saying we have a leo energy here too we have gemini aquarius libra energy <clears throat> actually within the fool you jumped in really quickly with this person whoever this person was for those of you with this particular energy that i'm channeling right now Like this person was very lazy some of you could have a child or going to have a child with this person and you're like damn so be careful because the empress is here and this is like a, a feminine energy but I just feel like it's also about fertility um Because you're just like, you don't want to be stuck with this person. But if you're not careful, you will be. I'm hearing someone is messing with your energy. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's messing with your energy. And you want this behind you. It's like I'm seeing that you're losing yourself, you're losing your kindness, your love. Remember to stay love in love, you guys, with yourself, with all with others. Don't let this person change your energy and let you look at other people in a negative light. Because I'm seeing you rolling your eyes here, Queen of Wands in reverse, kind of like your back is turned. You don't want to be bothered. This could be the person that you are dealing with at the moment. I'm seeing like a lot of you are needed to get your confidence back or work on your confidence within this relationship. Hmm. So this person made you feel like you didn't do enough, like you weren't enough. And we've been getting this kind of energy all week. So tell me more about this one, Holy Spirit. For Scorpio. Ooh. Oh, Lord, someone is juggling. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Let's see who else. Or Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. This could also be their moon sign as well, but this person is appearing to be the player. See, I'm getting different energies as I'm ch channeling different energies. This is not particular to anything. Um, and I never did this on this channel before. I always like sticked into one energy, but I just felt like to do something different today. But this is a player. This is someone that has multiple partners or cheated. And this person did this for you before. You kind of know that they don't want a commitment. You and this person got together and it's like a waste of your time. They still don't want to choose. They love the lifestyle that they live. You know what I'm saying? It's like... There is no fear within their eyes about you leaving them. They feel like you're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm seeing like this person is going to be coming towards you with some kind of idea or trying to act like nonchalant, like nothing ever happened. <sighs> Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more for this energy Ooh. I'm seeing love here though I'm seeing love here but a lot of fear a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety I feel like you're going through it you have a fear even though this person is coming towards you but they're not making a decision you think that they're going to do the same thing they did and most likely they are because of the two of pentacles but they're going to give you the information that you seek which within this um eight of wands energy coming towards you they're coming towards you to invest but still 
you know, you are going through the nine of swords energy, overthinking things, definitely in your mind about things, living in some kind of fear. Your angels are also with you within this time. So don't feel like you are alone within this time. You and this person have been going through so much. I feel like this, again, is not the first time that they did this to you. I'm also seeing the Ace of Wands energy in reverse. So this is slowing down very, very quickly. There, For some of you, this relationship is kind of stale. You know, but for, it's like I'm still getting that energy that you're holding on. They're holding on. Yep. because of the nine of wands here it's like this person is protecting this door and so are you even though you're beat up tired exhausted but you're still holding on to this relationship so this is not something that i'm seeing that you're leaving this person you just have you just realize that this person has someone else you realize this person is juggling you you know you realize this person is from the streets there's no real com communication between you and this person for some of you you're going through some kind of transition where you're blocking this person but it's like problems right but i'm not seeing that you're exiting the building with this relationship it's like you're still trying to fight for this relationship even though it's pretty much slowed down very slow energy here it's like non-existent because this person is like the way they're acting is like you <laughs> whatever you want to do i know you're gonna come back right that's that's the kind of energy that they're like where are you gonna go there's nowhere for you to go kind of vibe so that is crazy all right so let's see i'm hearing about money and putting away your money i'm hearing about i feel like spending is a thing for you i'm hearing that you need to like try to save money and try to not spend your money something about money Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Holy Spirit. Money. Okay. Tell me more about this. Mm, things are not looking good okay um i'm seeing transition so i'm seeing like spending unexpected spending is going to happen because transitions are happening here i'm seeing that you're going to be discovering a lot of things about a certain energy that you're dealing with for those of you who are with someone or sharing or splitting bills it's like you're in this um particular energy of making choices whether or not you need to stay here so if you don't if you get up and go you're going to have to spend more money so i'm hearing unexpected money here okay i'm seeing like you're trying to close chapters trying to close doors trying to heal because this is just a little bit too much for you you don't you you're you're at your it's like you're empty at this moment you don't have anything else it's like a lot of savings are down or money is just non, non-existent here you don't know how you're going to do this you're kind of dependent on this person whoever this person is this is why you're independence this is why you're getting this warning about money because a transition is about to happen you need to be careful how you're spending your money if you don't have to don't do it because i'm feeling like a lot of you are dependent this person that you're dependent on is in and out this person is just look at you trying to make a decision between what like what you need to do this relationship is just not the same again that star energy you know losing faith losing hope Your intuition is behind you. Opportunity is dim. This might not happen the way you were thought it was going to happen. 
so I'm picking up the same energy with this juggling thing because you're waiting here you're waiting on someone you're waiting on someone Scorpio tell me more Holy Spirit yeah you're waiting to rebuild tell me more oh Lord that's a lot okay so we have this 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 okay wow there's a lot so you guys are with a manipulator i'm getting aries energy remember i pulled up aries i said aries sag or leo energy uh but i'm also getting you know aquarius as well for major arcana gemini aquarius libra Aries and Aries, Aries and Scorpio here in the tower. So a lot of you are waiting for this person to return so you can rebuild with this person. You're in love with this person. You jumped right. You you're going to jump right back in with this person because your your feelings are strong for this person even now. A lot of you are tired and burnt out with the nine of wands. The nine of wands are coming up again, but this is in reverse. So clearly someone is still fighting. Clearly someone is burnt out here. I feel like this person is a manipulator. This person is, you know, someone that has been defeated in life. Also, I'm just feeling like this person just makes all the wrong decisions. They're not quite a leadership role model, but they think they are kind of vibe. So this person is coming back to you to invest in, in you. This is who you're dealing with here. It's like they're trying to figure things out, trying to bring back stability to this connection. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Wow. Ace of Cups. So they're coming in be careful with money you guys because i'm getting money issues here it's like they're coming in for money or invested in money or something I'm trying to balance the stable maybe they'll give, give you back something that they have took from you but i feel like after that it's kind of like a loss again you know i feel like this person is coming back within your life to rebuild then give you back this money or this situation that they promised you and then in the end it's just like okay a loss within the three of pentacles again like you're losing again there is no true commitment here no true commitment here it's like you're difficult it's difficult for you guys to get along it's difficult for you guys to see eye to eye this is what I'm seeing here. This is a past connection I'm hearing. You guys keep getting it wrong. That's what I'm hearing. You guys are burnt out. But you're not ready to leave. You're not ready to leave this connection. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> okay wow i'm seeing choices um coming into your life i'm hearing choices but you're not interested in them so people are presenting themselves to you but you're not interested in these choices because you're still your energy and your heart is still with this person this energy in reverse <clears throat> You're still waiting. I keep seeing the um the four of cups energy. <laughs> You're still waiting for this person, even though they get they're in and out. They're not really consistent within your life. I'm being told. They keep you restricted. I'm seeing the eight of want the eight of swords energy. Excuse me. <sighs> Look at this, the tower. So they're going to make a choice because they're overwhelmed. I feel like in the in the future, you're going to see this person make a choice, but it's up to you to wait. 
they're still going to want to build on this tower. A lot of you Scorpios could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries within the tower. Power struggle, fire energy for both of you. I mean, you're water-based, but you can be both if you wanted to. Scorpio, that's your secret. Choices, look at you, you're not even interested. What you're concerned about is this person making these, this choice. Making a choice between two things. You have choices here. Seven of Cups energy. And you're not even interested in one of these cups. You're interested in the person that is juggling you. Ooh. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. For Scorpio. What what's relate what is this relationship connection to? Me? What is this relationship connection? Okay, tell me more. Scorpio, this person. Ooh. Tell me more. You want a happily ever after. You want a, you want a new beginning. You want abundance. You love this person. You want the Ace of Pentacles. You guys have a lot of issues, whoever this is, honestly. Money issues are going to be resolved. I'm seeing you jumping in. You're not really um, scared about this money issue. Which is really good. It's like you're jumping into this to solve this situation. I'm seeing a new abundance here. Tell me more. <clears throat> or some of you might have some kind of relationship. Yeah. Again, you know, this emperor energy. Well, the king of wands energy in reverse. Close enough. Okay. You know, it's crazy because you're not getting what you want. I'm kind of like seeing this break, break every minute. I'm seeing this four of swords energy. I'm feeling like you just need some time for yourself because you're still in this energy like you don't want to leave. Look at that, the eight of cups in reverse. It's like if you do this, you're going to regret it. That's what the energy is. It's like your energy. As you're walking away, you're walking away and regretting leaving or you're thinking about this person even though you faced a lot of sadness, a lot of depression, a lot of like like feeling alone or abandoned in this relationship even though you're at your crossroads within your life right and the angels are giving you a new beginning but you still have this eight of cups as your last energy in reverse where you feel like you just you you're making a choice but it's not what your your heart wants and if it's not what your heart wants don't do it don't do it because you're just gonna make yourself miserable right so I'm seeing like you're going to be returning if this person give you an opportunity because look, you're still waiting for this person. You haven't even got a lot of you made some kind of life with this person. A lot of you could have some kind of foundation there with a house, maybe a family within the ace of pentacles energy, but you're going through some kind of money issue. You're you're getting out of this, but as you're getting out, this person is putting you back in and that's the same energy that I picked up before did you remember like I'm seeing like the angels are giving you or this person is coming in to give you some kind of balance back and then it's like you're going through it again after they give it to you then they put you right through it again because you have this 11 11 in reverse like they're not sure where this relationship is going to go they're not sure how to deal with this conflict with you and i feel like it's a lot to do with spending it's a lot to do with acting like acting like everything is okay acting like they're not going through this hard time this person is not responsible you know this person is not like you they're not thinking about stability they're thinking about the now the now the now and i feel like you or just waiting for a change or waiting for this person to grow up because they're not quite there i feel like this person is getting dressed up for other people honestly i don't know that energy keeps going up but i'm hearing money 
I'm here to be careful with your money, like I said before, and this is why the money issue is coming up. It's it's like I was here and like put your money away. Put your money away. Save your money. Because what's gonna happen is that I'm seeing a transition. And it's going to be hard for you because you have given this person everything. Yeah, this person that doesn't know how to make decisions, this person that's immature, this person that is just getting you in a bind. You know, someone has that, that has um, plans and it's good to have plans and, you know, inspirations and, you know, and trying to get businesses and stuff but when you are in reverse you kind of make the wrong business decisions you kind of just get yourself deeper and deeper in this hole right you're kind of stubborn you don't listen to people you feel like you know everything within this king of wands in reverse and because of this energy is like a huge it's like it's really small opportunity that you guys can even nourish or blend in with each other and make this work you know the universe can't work in this kind of energy. Someone is really stubborn here. Look at that, the star again. You know, there is love here, clearly. Can I have one more? But there is going to be a breakthrough with this, within the Ace of Swords. I like that energy. But again, the star keeps showing up for you. Even though the star is in reverse, this, this Ace of Swords, I feel like... It's not going to overrun because this is a major arcana, but there's going to be truth there's going to be understanding there's going to be a download of energy for you to come to some kind of clarity uh all right i'm gonna leave it here you guys um hope you guys enjoy this kind of video i'm just you know seeing what messages the holy spirit has just want me to let you guys know instead of just doing love or anything like that so i just hope this resonates for you if this does, Scorpio, go ahead and like this video. Let's, let's, let's try to make this 500 likes. You guys, I know you guys can do it. So, you know, thank you if you already is pushing the video. <laughs> but, you know, so, um, yeah, we're in the green now. So you should be getting your, you know, your, your all your notifications. And thank you for all of you who helped to get the channel in the green. I really, really appreciate it. Your girl is back on. She ain't gonna stop. <laughs> okay? She gonna be consistent. Period. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in your next video. Bye, guys.